Hey Scrum Bastards, I'm back with my very first room tour after I have moved into my home. <laughs> we moved into our new home in December of 2018 and I'm so excited to be in this space. This room functions not only as my scrapbook room but also as the headquarters for Victoria Marie Design. So this is where I work and create every single day. Now the way that this space is set up right now, I kind of call this scrapbook room tour 1.0 because I've just moved into the space. This was the first room that I put together because immediately after we moved, I had to get straight back to work. And prior to moving into the space, I sort of mapped out on paper what I wanted this room to look like initially. So I knew that I wanted to have areas for die cutting, for where I do my computer work. I also want to create a craft island, so that's where I do the majority of my projects. And I also need a space for my printers and some other stuff. Now there aren't a whole lot of things on the walls just yet. I haven't painted the walls. All the furniture in here is all stuff that I've had for many years and it definitely has some wear and tear. But for right now, it is functional. And I have so many big plans for this room. Down the road, I do want to get custom cabinetry. I want to get solid surface floors. My carpet right now is sort of a, a dark gray. It looks brown on camera, but it's actually gray. Um, but I want to pull that up and put some solid surface floors on there. I want to be able to have a larger desk and so many other things for this space. But for right now, I am enjoying it for what it is and feeling very, very lucky to have a space where not only I can create, but also run my business. Now, as I set up the room, I want to make sure I had defined areas with specific functions. So here in this area, I have my die cutting machines, my silhouette, and so forth. I also have some other tools underneath there. Hate those exposed cords, but that's just kind of how it is. Now above my die cutting station and also my sewing machines up there, I do have some shelves. I do plan to decorate this and stage it a little bit better. I just have some stuff thrown up there for right now. Next to my die cutting station, I have my computer. This allows me to keep my silhouette plugged into my computer at all times. I have a model that's not wireless. And then of course behind me is my craft island. I will come back to this here in just a second. Now at my computer desk, of course, I do all my computer work, answer emails, edit videos. In between the computer desk and the die cutting station, I have this set of drawers all from Ikea. The first drawer just has some basic office supplies, my lotions and that type of thing that I need as I'm working. I also have on the second drawer some extra adhesives that I like to keep on hand. The third drawer, you can see my candy stash there, as well as some extra blades and stuff and other tools. I also have these three little boxes that I picked up from Michaels many years ago. This just houses um, some stamp cleaning supplies, some tools that I use for things when I'm like hanging pictures and stuff like that and doing other projects. So those all stay there nice, neat and organized in that drawer. And then at the bottom, I have some card making sleeves. I also have some sanitizer and some wipes that I use to clean up my spot as well as my mic when I am editing videos. Next to my desk, I have a cork board that I got from Hobby Lobby. I also have an old bookshelf that used to be in my office when I worked outside the home. So when I quit my job and start working from home, I went ahead and put this in my craft studio so that I have a spot for all of my scrapbooking references, my printer, my typecast typewriter, and that type of thing. Next to it are some super old recollections cubes. These guys have seen better days. So of course you see the paper storage there, my eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12 papers. I would open those drawers for you, but they will fall apart. But those hold some scrapbooking kits. Next to it is a bin that I got from the Target dollar spot and that just holds some mixed media mats. Now on top of my paper storage, I do have some washi tape storage. This is an acrylic storage unit. There are actually two, one sitting on top of the other. And I got this from a store called At Home. And I love the look of this because I can see all my washi tape. And of course I can just pull it out of the drawer when need be. I also have some fun little keepsakes there that I've gotten as gifts from my retreat guest. Next to that, I have a totally Tiffany, I wanna say this is like an organization stadium. I can't remember the technical term for it, but it houses some glitter and some extra stamping inks and such. And of course I have my cork board there at the top that I am going to decorate and stage at some point. All right, so now I have this little bin, that little pink bin there is where I started my scrapbooking storage many, many years ago. Believe it or not, all of my scrapbooking stuff used to sit in that pink bin. Now I just have stuff that I need to use that I purchased recently that I need to incorporate into my stash. Next to that is a recollection uh, little cart. As you can see, it is filled to the brim with stuff. And these are mainly products that I pulled out of kits that I've been using or just extra spillover embellishments. I definitely need another organization system for that. All right, so next to that is another set of recollection cubes. On top of this unit, I have a bin that I purchased from Target about two years ago that houses my six by six paper pads. I also recently was sent in this really cool acrylic display from Tonic. I'm on the Tonic design team and that holds a lot of my Nouveau products. 
I also have this embellishment station here that I got maybe, oh, I'd have to say maybe eight years ago, and that houses all of my wood mount stamps. It's all I have in my collection. I gave uh, many of them away a long time ago. I also have some Heidi Swap Color Shine. I also have some embossing powder. Oh, goodness, I almost forgot what that was called. <laughs> some roller date stamps and some more inks. Underneath that are some very old recollections cubes. These, of course, are the drawer system. As you can see, they have a, a lot of love. And they're sitting on top of a bookshelf, a little cube system that I purchased from Target about four years ago. Next to that, I have some mats that I use and also an old um, scrapbook kit box that I use for mixed media. And then I have another cart. This is from Ikea. I want to say that I purchased this probably about three or four years ago. And this houses a lot of my mixed media products. And again, spilling over, need to find a new organization system for this. But for right now, it works. And so I have a lot of my paints and mist and sprays and other mixed media products that I like to use. So I'm gonna bring you back over to the cubes here. I'm gonna pull out this first drawer. This drawer just houses some extra adhesives as well as some foam pads when I'm doing um, some distress ink and some threads and that type of thing. I also have three drawers for my punches. It used to be I would store my punches on my wall on a rail, which I might do again, but for right now, they're just stored here in those drawers. And I was just pointing out the damage to my little, my little drawers. They've seen better days. I also have a drawer here for extra tonic uh, design team product that I am sent. But of course, I've been using tonic products for a very long time. So I have a spot for all of those different products. Then I also have a drawer that's my card making drawer where I keep card bases and envelopes as well as my embossing tool. In this drawer, I have some extra thickers. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love thickers. This is not the only spot where I have thickers, but those are some spillover thickers, some extra ones that I have. And then in this drawer are other types of sticker fonts that I don't have any other spot to put. Also some loose fonts as well that I just go ahead and pop in that drawer. Down below in the first cube, this is my stamp storage. I keep my stamp platforms next to my stamps. This little basket came from Dollar General about four years ago. So I have a set of stamps there in that bin. Underneath this cube, I have my little wire bin that I keep a lot of my thickers in. As you can see, I need new thickers storage. So I have some that are spilling out of that bin as well as on the side. I got that at Home Goods. Next to that, I have this nice little caddy here. This holds my acrylic blocks. This was given to me by a friend and that's from 31. I also have a bin with some of my brush markers. I have some more brush markers there in the back that I haven't quite used a whole lot. And I'm trying to learn how to use Copic markers. This is the only set that I have. And when I upgrade my spot just a little bit, I'm gonna have storage for all of those pins so I can store them properly. At the top of that is another space for stamps. So I got this bin many years ago from the container store. Next to it is some new stamps that I need to incorporate. I also got those sleeves from the container store as well. I'm pretty sure they still sell the sleeves in that bin, but I'm not 100% sure. Next to that, I have an area where I keep some extra roller date stamps and a little bin that I got from Target Dollar Spot. I also have my little tiny die cutting machine from Sizzix, as well as this little marquee sign that a crafty friend gave to me when I first started my business. I keep my die cutting for that little machine, my little tools there in that bin. That bin I got from the Target Dollar Spot probably about three years ago. I also in this bin keep some dies as well as some embossing plates that I use whenever I'm die cutting. So they're all in one spot. And eventually I'll move that over to my die cutting spot as uh, my space grows. Down below in this cube, I have some We Are Memory Keepers punch boards. I also have this magnetic cutting mat and some other tools that I reach for, which is why it's behind my craft desk. I have a stamp majig there, and I also have a piercing mat whenever I'm doing piercing work on projects. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pan over to my craft island. This was something that I planned to have in my craft space and I measured it out and I drafted it and it worked out well. This is an Ikea table that I purchased many years ago. Next to it, I have this little stand. I got this at Target and it's to organize dishes like in a cabinet, but I purchased it to take to scrapbooking retreats so I could extend my space for my materials. I'm using it next to my desk to hold my cutters. Underneath that, I have my mount for my camera when I'm doing filming. 
and clipped to the side of my desk is this really cool tonic caddy. Now this caddy has three parts to it. So you see the larger main part. And then here to the side is a smaller little caddy. And I want to say that the attachments to this are sold separately, but I'll post the link down below in the description box if you're interested. So the smaller one holds my scissors. Now the main one is clamped to my table. So you essentially unscrew it at the bottom and then clamp it to your table and screw it tight. So I have my tonic scissors. I also have some different punches here, hole punches, that type of thing that I keep in this little galvanized tin. Then I have some other odds and ends, some fibers, some score tape, some foam uh, squares that I use for different projects. I have this baby wipe holder that a friend made for me a long time ago that I use uh, baby wipes to clean my space as, long, as well as some hand sanitizer that I purchased from the Dollar Tree that's really great to clean off craft mats and get mixed media products off your surfaces. This little caddy, of course, detaches from the main caddy as well, and you can just pop that back on. I am pretty certain those two smaller ones are sold separately, but you can go to the Tonic website to learn more about that. Now when I'm working on a project I like to make sure that everything I need is at hand so my most used tools are right in front of me. So I have this little organizer here this is from Totally Tiffany and I have a lot of different adhesives of course you need different adhesives for different jobs whenever you're creating stuff. In addition to the adhesives I have my most used stamp pads that I use as well as my embossing ink and some other odds and ends. Next to that, I have four other containers. The first one is this little owl that houses my scissors. I also have this container that I purchased at Michael's. The owl also came from Michael's. I got this about two years ago. That houses my stamp chamois, and I keep that in there when I need to keep that moist. I also have this handcrafted little container here that I keep my powder tool. I purchased that at a friend's bookstore not too long ago. This container here I purchased from a Target, that little blue striped container. That's actually a flower pot, and I just popped in some of my most used oh. pins. On the other side of my craft island, I have this rotating caddy. And of course this houses a lot more of my tools as well. So I have some brush daubers, paint brushes. I have some water tools. Um, I have my ATG gun that currently is not working for <laughs> whatever reason. I also have my crop a dial as well as some other smaller tools that I use for a variety of uh, functions whenever I'm creating a project. And then underneath my desk houses my trash can. I got that trash can from Ikea several years ago. On the other side of my craft room, I have my wide format printer. Now I'm kind of being nimble and using a TV tray because I don't have anything to set it on right now, but I hopefully will get a storage solution soon. I also have a rack for apron and extra bags. And then I have a few things that I need to put up on my wall that I have sort of sitting around. All right, scrap bosses. So that was my scrapbook room tour 1.0, the first version of this room. I have big plans for this space down the road, but I think for now, I'm just super excited to be in this space and to have a dedicated spot in my home, in my new home, where I can grow my business and of course do all the creative things. When I first started scrapbooking, I just had one little caddy for all my scrapbook supplies. And so sometimes when I'm sitting in this room, I look around and think, you know, I've come a long way in my creative life to have a room of my own. And whether you have a room of your own or a small corner in your house or apartment, make it your own, make it function for you. It's your little space, your little piece of heaven where you can create and have a lot of fun. If you have any questions about anything featured in this video, make sure that you post it down below in the comment section. I will be sure to post links to available products in the description box. You can also find out more information on the Victoria Marie blog. So make sure that you check it out. This video was made possible in part by the Victoria Marie Scrap Boss patrons. If you are looking for exclusive Victoria Marie content and you want to support Victoria Marie designs, head on over. The link is posted down below. I would love to have you as a patron. And as always, if you like what you see here on this channel, hit that subscribe button. When you do, click the bell indicator. That way you'll know each and every time I post a new video to this channel.